Okay, in this video, we will try to solve some of the problems related to whatever relationships we have defined in my previous video. Okay, so if you remember from my previous video, we, we talked about this, this family tree over there, right? And we have defined this, this parent relationship over there, right? The parent facts over there or clauses over there, right? So we'll try to see how prologues answers different, different type of questions over here now, okay? So the first question is, assuming that whatever parent relationship we have defined before, so what will be the prologue answer for the following queries, okay? So if you see, it is asking for who, who is the child of Jim over here, right? So X is a variable over here, and it is asked as the parent relationship, the first argument is the Jim, that means the first argument is the parent over there and the second argument is the child over there right so basically we are asking about who is the child of Jim over here okay so as Jim is the Jim do not have any child over here right so ideally we are expecting prologue will return false over here so let us let us try to see it okay so if I just write it over here parent Jim and the variable basically we are trying to find all the child's of Jim over here right so if I just run it out, so it will say false over there as expected. Let's move on. Let's talk about the second problem over here. Okay. So here we are basically asking about who is the parent of Jim over here, right? So ideally we are expecting the answer Pat over here, right? So let us let us try to see it. Parent x comma Jim, right? Dot. So as expected so the value of x will be pat over here right so let's move on to the next problem so here basically the query is parent pam x that means we are finding all the childs of pam okay so let us try to find pam over here so bob is the only child of pam now it is asking this this comma is the and operator as a, as we have discussed in previous video right then it is asking basically the bobs if pat is bobs children or not okay so if i just see it over here yes pop is pat is bobs children over here right so ideally this clause or this this particular query's output will be true over here let's try to see it so we are we are talking about c right so parent parent pam x okay comma this is the and operator and we have parent x pat parent x comma pat let's try to see what prologue is answering over here if you see it is time to time to find it over here as the bob over here right bob is our answer over here okay so basically bob is parent's child and pat is bob's child over here so it is basically finding x over here now let's try to see the third fourth problem over here what it is trying to say is parent pam x that means we are basically finding the child of pam over here then parent x y that means we are finding all the all the childs of bob over here if you see it when we are giving a variable at the second argument right that means prologue will try to find all the answers all the applicable answers over here right so as bob has two children ann and pat so the value of y will be ann and pat over here right now parent y jim okay now y means our ann and pat right so if pat is pat is jim's parent it will also return okay now as we are talking about and operator over here right so that means ideally the value of y will not be n over here because n is not jim's parent over here right so let us try to see it so parent pam x so that is fine so the second is parent x y so let us let us change this guy over here to y okay then instead of dot we'll give you another comma will write parent okay then y comma jim over here right so y comma jim here then dot 
okay if you see it, the value of x as ex expected is bob because bob is pam's children now as we are talking about and operator over here right so we are talking about all the bob's children but we are talking about only that children who is parent of jim over here so in this case it is pat right so that's why the value of y will be pat over here okay so we solved the first question let us talk about the second question here so here we have given some some arguments over here right some strings over here so we need to basically find it out the corresponding prologue queries over here right so it is in in, in plain english so you have to find the corresponding prologue queries so who is parents pat's parent over here okay so if i just go over here ideally my answer should be bob over here right so when i will try to find out the parent of pat so i will write something like this right we are trying to find all x's who are parent of pat correct so it is bob now let's move on let's talk about the second problem here does liz have a child so we are talking about liz over here right and we are we are the the question is whether liz have a child or not that means we are talking about a true false answer over here right so we will try to do in same way if i just write if i just try to find out liz have any any child or not right so that's why i'm passing a variable at the second argument over here if you see the prologue is returning false over here because liz do not have any child over here right so let's move on let's talk about the last problem here who is pat's grandparent okay so that means whenever we are talking about a grandparent relationship that means we are basically finding out the parents parent over here right so let us try to see it what will be the prolog answer okay because bob has multiple parent over here so to do that what i will first write it out is the parent okay so you are basically finding out who who are the parents of pat right so we are we are talking we are starting with pat over here so that means all the x who are parent of pat okay and parent okay so we are finding out all the parents who are parent of this x that means all the y who are parent of this x who is this x means is the parent of pat right so if i just do it if you see now prolog is returning more than one value over here because according to this diagram according to this relationship bob is definitely pat's, uh, pat's parent but bob has two parents over here right pam and tom so that's why prolog is finding the first pairs bob and pam if i just give a semicolon over here it will find the bob and tom as well okay so this is this is how how the prolog query stuff works okay we 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 just worked on a very simplistic problem over here just try to understand more deeply that how facts and how the queries work okay in the next video we'll talk about prolog rules okay see you in next video